Hello everybody and welcome back to a video that will start with welcome back. My name is Evan Ettinger and today we're talking about some New Jersey slang and the infamous New Jersey accent. We'll start off with some slang, get into some pronunciations and that fun accent. But first, our first word of the day I'm going to teach you today, filler up cash regular. Now I've not had to use this word in such a long time or the one that usually goes along with it, which is 20 regular cash. Now, if you watched my previous video on New Jersey culture, you would know we're very proud of the fact that we don't pump our own gas. So filler up cash regular is just the quickest way of telling your gas station attendant what you'd like him to do. Fill up my tank, I'm paying with cash, I would like regular gas. Or maybe you don't have a lot of money on you, you just have a $20 bill, you would say 20 regular cash. It's really great. Now, if you're lucky enough that your gas station is also a Wawa, you can just say, fill her up cash regular, get out, go get yourself a made to order hoagie and then come on back and it'll all be done for you. The luxury of living in New Jersey. It's just we really want to say everything we want to say in the shortest amount of time possible. It's beautiful, really. Maybe you go back home, walk through the door, and your housemate asks you, G? Or possibly, G yet? There's just too many words in the expression, did you eat yet? G yet? Way more concise. Nah mean? Actually, nah mean is one of my favorite Jersey words just because it's six words in one. Do you know what I mean? Nah mean? It just it really flows off the tongue. So much more concise. We like to be fast. It's like, hey, that guy's a little bit sus. No, I mean, come on, pick this up. It's a good one. Other states take it on board. I do thank you all for subscribing to my channel, by the way, even if I didn't have to ask, because I know y'all have done that anyway. Y'all is great. You all would have y'all have. Sounds like something from the South, but South Jersey <laughs> surprisingly is also pretty South. There is a possibility that learning all these new words is giving you a bit of agita. Agita comes from Italian immigrants and means indigestion, but colloquially in New Jersey, it just means to be bothered. It comes from the same root word as agitate. So, ah oh man, that's really giving me agita. It's bothering me. If you're from Jersey and you don't know a lot of these words, you might feel like a bit of a stunad. Stunad, another one of those Italian words, just means idiot. Ah, oh, don't be such a stunad. It's weird, but it's just a word we use. John. My mom is someone that uses this word all the time. To use it in a sentence, you'd say something like, oh, what's that John doing over there? Or did you guys see Fantastic Beasts? Oh man, that John was terrible. It's basically a pronoun that can fill in the place of any noun or sentence, person, place, thing, anything. It's just a John. New Jersey's pronouns are John slash John Peace. Yo, let me get a hit of that John Peace. The word is very popular in South Jersey because it definitely comes from a Philadelphia influence. Jug handle. This one comes up in a lot of my videos and it always confuses people, even though it's not that confusing. It's just a road you take a right on to go left. Simple. We get a little flack in New Jersey for referring to pizza as pie, but that's because it's a pizza pie. No one's complaining about Brits when they throw mash on top of meat and call that a pie, all right? If you don't call it a pizza pie, you can take a pizza me. <laughs> the brand Kleenex became so well known for tissues that people just refer to tissues as Kleenexes now. The same thing happened in the Delaware Valley in regards to debit cards or ATM cards. There used to be a brand called Mac or Money Access Center that advertised all over the place saying get your Mac card to go to the Mac to get your money and the brand name stuck to this day where even though they don't exist anymore, you can find a lot of restaurants and businesses that say we accept credit or Mac card. Wild. My mom still calls it a Mac card as well. I didn't know why until I researched it for this video and I was like, oh, why? Now we talked a bit about custard stands in my last Jersey video, but today we're talking about Jimmy's. Not you, Jimmy, Jimmy. Jimmy's are what we call sprinkles. So when you get a soft serve, nothing better than a bit of rainbow or chocolate Jimmy's. Delicious. Also, by the way, I did find that you can get rainbow Jimmy's in the UK. I found them on a website here that says they're the most classic rainbow sprinkle. It's true. They call them hundreds and thousands here. Boo. Jimmy. Now the last word I'm going to teach you before we move on to the accent and pronunciation section is strip mall. Now this isn't a mall full of strippers, though depending on the business in there, it actually very well could be. A strip mall is kind of like a terrace house in the US except for businesses. It's one long building split up into loads of different businesses, usually on the side of a semi-popular road. New Jersey definitely leads the nation when it comes to strip malls. They're everywhere and they're identical. I've got a couple examples for you up here. This one's got a Papa John's, a pretzel place, and a nail place, and a sushi place. Uh, and this other one here, that one's got a paint store and, oh, it's got a Wawa. So you can park there, get some paint, make yourself a hoagie. If you call it a sub, get out of my state. It's a hoagie, a long soft roll sandwich with cold cuts, tuna salad, you name it. So the New Jersey accent, just follow my lead and you'll be able to pronounce everything like a true New Jersey native. From the South, the New Jersey accent you hear a lot on TV is usually from North Jersey and even still, it's just the area right next to New York. I'm sure most people from North Jersey in the mountains are gonna be like, hey, I don't sound like that. Sorry. Hello, sir. I'd like a glass of water, please. Oh, my favorite part about the first day of spring, the free water ice. It's just water, but you pronounce it water. Don't know why we pronounce it like wooder. 
water, but that is one of the words that has stuck with me no matter where I've traveled. I'm like, hey, can I get some water? No one knows what I'm saying. <laughs> At least I'm not like, excuse me, sir, may I please have some water? Nah, man, I just want a glass of water. How do you guys like your bagels? Cream cheese or butter? Don't know why, but we pronounce it bagel, not bagel. They're very popular in New Jersey, so you actually have to learn this one, okay? We got good bagels. Now, usually with your bagel, you'll probably want to order a coffee. The weird thing about coffee in a New Jersey accent is it's not that full New York coffee. It's in between coffee and coffee. So it's more like a coffee. Can you hear the difference? Please tell me you can hear the difference. There's definitely a difference. There's a lot of great grocery stores in New Jersey, like ShopRite or Acme. Even though there's no extra A in between Ac and me, a lot of people from New Jersey will just say, Acme. Now, the way we pronounce the letter O in New Jersey is actually quite odd, and a lot of people don't even realize they're pronouncing it differently until they visit someone from out of state. We change single syllable words like phone and home into double syllabic words like phone and home. In an example sentence, I'd say, oh, I'm really sorry, I can't make it. I've got to run home. Oh, I've got someone on my phone. I did not realize I did this until I talked to someone. I had to ask so many people to be like, can you please use this in a sentence? And they would just say, oh, I've got to run home. I was like, no, you better run home. Like I said, very fine details, but we have our own accent, okay? This is the type of stuff that I really love learning about, how niche or your accent can get, depending on where the states you're from. Don't say we all sound the same, all right? As a kid, you knew you were living at large if your parents brought you back a 64 pack of Crayola crayons. Now, depending on where you are in the state, you might not actually pronounce it crayons. You could say crown. Yet, neither of these two groups in New Jersey pronounce it crayon, the way it's supposedly supposed to be pronounced. But I catch myself saying that all the time. Oh, I love coloring crayons. It's like cray, apostrophe, uns, crayons. <laughs> I feel like I'm making a bit of a cheat sheet for if you've watched any of my videos before, now you know all the different little intricacies of why I'm saying things the way I say them. Now, a lot of people from New Jersey would pronounce something like this, a pillow. I try as hard as I can not to, but yet sometimes I find myself slipping into it 50% of the time and I hate myself for it. It's a pillow, but yet I'll be like, oh, can you grab me the pillow? Another example of New Jerseyans pronouncing one-syllable words as two is Mayan. Like, oh, that pillow over there? That's Mayan. It almost sounds like the ancient civilization for mine, but yet two syllables. Oh, that's Mayan. And weirdly enough, we also do the same thing with words like pan. Like, have you seen my pan? 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 We also do it with words like mad and bad. So instead of saying those as one syllable, it might be like, oh, I'm so mad. Oh, I feel so bad. It's like bad, bad. Now, this next one isn't just from New Jersey, and a lot of Americans say it like this, but caramel. It just flows off the tongue. We kind of ignore the middle A and say caramel, especially when it comes to caramel corn popcorn. I cannot imagine saying caramel corn popcorn. No. Go into the boardwalk, you pick up some Johnson's caramel corn popcorn. You know what I love on my pancakes? A little bit of syrup. Supposedly it's syrup, but syrup flows right off the tongue. Big fan. Did I just do it with fan? Big fan. Oh my god. Hello, how are you? I'm all right, how are you? Pretty good. I'm filming a video about the New Jersey accent and I almost feel like none of it is real and it's all in my own mind. And so I'm gonna text you a small sentence and I want you to say it out loud so I can figure out if I do pronounce this weird. All right, I'm a big fan. Say it again? I'm a big fan. All right. Would you say fan was one syllable or two syllables? Definitely one. Okay, because- fan. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a big I'd say, <laughs> I'd say like, oh, I'm a big fan. Fan? Oh, yeah, you say fan. Okay. I feel like I'm not crazy. Thank you. <laughs> the first school you go to in New Jersey is an elementary school. We kind of just skip over that middle T and pretend it's not there. Oh, that? That's elementary. Where'd the tea go? We don't like tea, okay? We drink coffee. Sometimes you just got to fix the satellite on your roof. Now, this one's weird. My dad said it all the time. I personally would go in and out. Sometimes I'd say roof. Sometimes I'd say roof. Either way, just sounds like I'm either a dog or a posh dog. Roof, roof. Roof. <laughs> if you ever find yourself going out hiking, you might pass over a small creek. It's like a creek, but it's just a small creek. It's just a creek. Now, usually in an American accent, you'll pronounce double T as D, like letter. Like, it doesn't sound like letter, it's letter. However, when it comes to baby cats, in New Jersey, we say kittens. Kittens. Two T's, we're like, I don't see any of them. It's just kittens. So you're like, oh, you've got baby kittens. Kittens. Kins. <laughs> Another example of the New Jersey accent ignoring the letter T is where you go to get your teeth checked out. Sounds more like a guy's name. Oh, tomorrow I've got an appointment at the dentist's. Dentists. Dentists. Not dentists. You gotta go to the dentist's. It genuinely sounds 
just good in my voice. I don't know. And though in a lot of these we're making one syllable words into two, the next one actually turns a two into one and is one that I cannot shake and it's just how I pronounce it. Ugh. Oh, can I borrow a towel? Hey, I'm a bit wet. Can I borrow a towel? Just towel. T-A-L. Oh, I need a towel. A hand towel, big towel, bath towel. Can I borrow a towel? Not towel. Just towel. Basically how I think most Americans also pronounce mirror. You don't really say mirror or mirror. You just say mirror. Like, yo, check myself out in the mirror. Looks like there's a towel on the floor. Now, a lot of people might pronounce the berry and strawberry as strawberry, but something we do quite unique in New Jersey actually is the word cherry, which we pronounce as cherry. Hey, can I get a cherry water ice? Now, if you're from Jersey, you might be like, wait, 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 really? Think about it. You want to go to the Cherry Hill Mall? Cherry Hill. Cherry Hill Mall. That's, that's just how we say it. Mall. I guess I can add that to the list as well. Mall. Mall. It's all weird at this point. And finally, one of my favorites is subscribe, such as subscribe to my channel. I make new videos every single Sunday and Thursday. The Thursday ones are community ones based on the comments that you make on this very video. Here's some other videos I've made if you want to watch. Other than that, hopefully you get a chance to visit the beautiful state of New Jersey sometime, practice your accent, and stay in the right lane. I'll see you guys on the next one. Goodbye.